for EA Sports. Well, the battle lines were drawn in game one. What's in store for game two of this series? And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Gets the full use of the stick on the puck check. Great heads up play with the stick by Shevich. Oh, can't get it to go. Ron has a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. Answer the call on that play. And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Takes the puck. Centering feed. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Here's a chance in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Moscow's got a hold of the puck. Rocked him in the open ice. Here's a shot, and he keeps that one out of his hand. Scores! And they tuck it into the back of the net here, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Svechnikov's won the draw here in the defensive zone. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the officials say. Late in the period, in a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. Moscow sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. Kavaros short-handed unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Oh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing, and you wind up in the box. The checkers roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five on three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. Teed up, and the stick collapses. Well, in good position there for that one timer, and as he bears down with that bottom hand, boom, it explodes. And he's ridden off the puck. And that stays in after trying to play it off the glass. Yeah, and it's tough when you're on the PK, James, and everything around the sequence is good. And then all of a sudden, you get the puck on your stick. That's exactly what you work for, and you fail to... She scores! Right on point! Wow! And that's just an incredible shot, James, that sends the water bottle flying. I mean, it gets air. That's a beautiful goal. How about the pass? To distribute it perfectly for him to be able to one-time that puck and just powder it. But it goes off the post. He's lucky that that found the back of the net. Moscow's broken through and has the game's first goal here in period number two. Well, typically the better team edges out their competitor, and they have been the better team through almost 40 minutes of this game, James. They find a way to get it through. They trusted the process. They trusted the game plan. Now it's about finishing it off and seeing the game right to the end. Chance in front, and that's intercepted. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. 
takes a shot, comes up with the stop. There's the whistle, we'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Scores! Oh, oh, the pipe and into the net. Wow! almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. Well, the goaltender heard the ping and was hoping that that puck redirected out of the net. Unfortunately, this time it goes in. Moscow's taken a 2 0 lead here in the second. It's been a real dominant performance tonight, and they've just thrown everything at the net. I think players want to pad their stats as they've been peppering the goalie. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Takes the feed. Swung away with the stick in the defensive zone. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The checkers are being called for tripping. Man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Puts it on net. Too much congestion in front. Penalty coming up here. Well, this is a good call because it is interference. You have to allow your opponent to fight for a loose puck. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Hammers it on net. Oh, and it gets in front of that to make a great save. Moves it to the middle. And it carries off a twig in front of the net. They go on the attack from the left side. Moscow has got a brief window on the power play with their penalty expired. Moscow's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Svechnikov's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Goaltender spent so much. There's a breakaway! Score! Man, is he ever flying, James? It looks like everyone else is in quicksand, and he is moving. He gets on his horse. He's in all alone, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. He doesn't freak out. He doesn't panic. Shows a ton of confidence and lets that shot rip. The Rivermen have suddenly changed the complexion of this game late in the second period. James, they've been more aggressive on the puck as the end of the second nears, and you can feel the urgency in their set. They clawed their way back to get within one. It's going to be a healthy start to the third. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Takes a shot. Great reflexes as he comes up with the pad save. Denies him again. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. And this one's underway here in the third. Got yeah, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Everyone's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's turn, one, you got to get the puck. Two, you got to score. They're not doing either. 
Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. Kabarovsk's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Scores! And we are tied after that power play, Mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has their most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Here's a short pass to Broadhurst. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Well, I love the save, James, but what I love more is the way that he can control the rebound. I mean, he doesn't give up much in front. No second shot opportunities. Here's a chance! approach as he's on the road he just says yeah just bring it i mean gets a hattie to boot oh he burns the goaltender on that one picks up the rebound and buries it home boy looks frustrated now james knows that you got to redirect that puck to the safe spot the rivermen have been in a back and forth seesaw affair tonight and here we are in the third period and they've taken a one goal lead well yeah and they can't change their mindset they have to continue to attack and be aggressive you never want to sit back and play too safe otherwise your opponent is going to take it to you pokes it away to stay on the attack through the neutral zone moving the puck along the side Trolls tripped up and the official's hand is in the air signaling penalty and there's the whistle stopping the play. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Kabarovsk's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Fantastic save! Uh, he's such an offensive producer and he just doesn't get it this time. And typically when he does, the whole team gets on his back and rides along with him. And the puck departs the zone. Kabarovsk's got the puck. Steps inside. Moves it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Williams moves the puck. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Picks up the puck. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Moscow's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, hard! He stopped that with the one-timer! Clearing attempt. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. Gets a hold of the puck. Oh, he's got a little jump. He's in a Zone. Kabarovsk's lead is still intact after a solid effort by the penalty killing unit. All alone! Oh, beautiful save on the play! And 
you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so impressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Under a minute to play in this dandy. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Trotz taking it from his own end. Sends the pass over. Wide open there. Seal the deal, James. A real insurance marker and a game well fought and a win well earned. Well, that's a strong effort all the way around. Stingy defensively at the end of the game and they're able to get that empty netter and it's the dying minutes here, James. It should seal the deal. Kabarovsk's effort has really impressed me tonight here, Cheryl. And after that, EN in the old statistical book. Only adds to their lead. Yeah, and it's going to be all but over, isn't it? You know, you put it in the 4 by 6 it's empty, and you know everyone just starts jumping because they realize they just won the game. Scooped up along the wall by Lee. From the place 99 made famous. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible that's effort that you can't teach, James. That's I don't think you can chalk up complacency at the other end of the ice. Cheryl, this was the response that everybody expected and anticipated. I mean, it's the playoffs, James. I mean, you got the best teams in the playoffs, and they want it. They're urgent. They knew they couldn't drop another game. So this was all about a timely response, and they answered the call. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either. So we'll see you next time, and real soon at that.